This is my Drummond B-type lathe that I've been renovating. It's now complete and I'm just doing setting up and testing. And so far the results seem to be quite encouraging. I set up the camera now I'm uh, looking on top of the lathe where I've got the dial indicator. Now the dial indicator is uh, records 0.001 of a millimetre, not the usual 0.01. So 10 graduations marked here is equal to one graduation on the normal um, dial indicator that people use. So if I just check to see now how I've got that running and it's as near true as I can get it. You can see it's running um, on the small dial so it's definitely touching and the needle's really barely moving. So if I just move the needle you can see it is doing something. I think that's pretty amazing. I never thought I'd get it to less than 0.01 and I look like I've got it to between 0.001 and under. It's because it's less than one graduation. Absolutely amazing. These um, very sensitive gauges are difficult to set up and the needle wobbles around all over the place if you touch anything. So if I touch this it's and touch this, I've locked everything so that it, it doesn't move now because literally anything I touched on the lathe was making it move. Okay, well that's that done. Now to do the test on the test bar. Now I'm measuring the amount that the tail stock is not aligned with the ch with the chuck uh, with the headstock end. Um, I've made adjustments as best I can. I'm still using the same gauge, which is so incredibly sensitive. So the needle will move a little bit. But you can see it's within 0.01 of a millimetre. which is pretty impressive, uh, which means that there's no play in the bed on a front to back direction in the front shears and um, bearing in mind I haven't had the lathe reground. Um, this lathe dates from 1918, that's a pretty amazing result. Now I'll just measure and check the alignment in a vertical direction. I've now set up on the top of the test bar and uh, we'll see what the movement is in this direction. Again, very little movement which is really quite amazing. Um, so I've been either very lucky or uh, I don't know, they were very well built in the first place. Now the one thing I can show you that um, this lathe does have which is its original um, markings when it was sold. difficult to see but there's a cross hatched um, scraping mark on the cross slide. Let's move this out of the way. It's probably slightly easier to see it. Yes you can see it now. There's a cross hatching at the back here. So apart from the odd place where uh, the lathe suffered through rust it's uh, more or less in original condition, had very little wear at all. Right, I've just uh, mounted the test bar in the chuck, uh, just so that you can have visual proof that um, this is really pretty accurate now. Uh, if I turn the lathe on, uh, you'll see how much wobble there is in the 
in the test bar is absolutely hardly anything. It's rock steady at the point where the cone of the centre drill is. Now I put a test piece of um, stainless steel in to do a trial cut on to show you how it works. I notice most people when they do test cuts only seem to use plastic or something like that so I'm going to have a decent test to make sure it's running properly. So you turn it on to about 750 RPM. And that's with the top slide, and um, just take a slightly deeper cut. Yeah. 